Hi everybody, my name is Jim Churchill and I own Widowmaker Custom Jigs. Um, today I'm going to show you how to tie a beginner crappie jig. In the flat land, like a man on the run, riding down Highway 61. Here we are, and I'm going to show you a basic crappie jig, and we're going to start with a 1 16th ounce uh, pink head, and we're going to tie this uh, pink head, a white body, and a chartreuse tail. The first thing we're going to do is stick it into the vise. I do recommend a rotary vise, but what we're going to do is we're going to start right here at the basics. You put the jig into the vise, and you do not want to pinch that barb. With this being said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll take a little Sally Hansen's. You can use Sally Hansen's hard as nails or super glue. And what I'm going to do is put just a little bit on the shaft of this, shank of this hook. And what that's going to do is when I wrap this thread on here, it's going to secure it because everything will want to roll on the shaft of this hook because it's so smooth. So what we'll do, we'll just start at the head and make basic wraps right down the shank of the hook about halfway and then you've got this long tag end here and then I just take the scissors and I cut that off then I'll just continue to wrap it back and a good basic start is to the point of the hook where you're going to tie in the tail so what we're going to do today is we're going to start with marabou for this tail and I'm just going to look through this find a good piece that end looks like a pretty good piece and it's going to make a nice tail. So you just grab this and pull it off. I just grab it, take my fingers and start to form a tail with it. And then I'll measure it. I'll set it right here on top of this, on top of this jig. So I kind of know about where I want to cut it because I'm going to wrap the marabou all the way from the back of this hook to the head. And I don't want to I don't want to tie it in just back here because then it'll leave a big bump. So I'll show you how to increase the mass when you do this of the body. So that looks about good. So I'll just take this and you, you could tie it in like this. I cut it off. Every tire has a different way to do it. The reason I cut it off is there's a bunch of dander and you'll be able to see these feathers and stuff flying out of this and I don't want that in my jig. Then I'll lick my fingers and I'll get that marabou just a little bit wet so that it's a little bit easier to deal with on the hook. Then I just lay this on the top of the hook and I'll wrap up my thread and I'm actually, you can see maybe with the thread, I'm pinching this thread with these two fingers so that it's kind of loose and then I'm just coming over the top with kind of loose wraps and I start wrapping it on the marabou and I get tighter and tighter and tighter moving forward and it just creates a nice base and I get to the head and you can see there's the tail tied in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it back, build up the head just a little bit and wrap it all the way to the back. And I'll wrap it right back to the, right back to the point of the hook and I'm not going to pull it too much. If I pull it too hard you'll see that marabou start to move and I don't want it to flare out real huge. So that's where we are with that. Now what we need to do is we need to add the body in and what we're going to use for this particular one is some chenille, just some white chenille. I'll go ahead and cut off a piece. It's probably just a few inches long like this. Now a couple of ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you how I do it um, and, and again there's all kinds of opinions. One way is you can take and you can pull part of that chenille off and there's a little piece of string there. I'm not sure if you guys can all see that, but you can start by wrapping that piece of string in just like that. You can tie that in just like that and then you don't have a big lump back there with that, with that chenille. And I'll wrap this string forward and I just pull it over here and anchor it with this vise. Now this being a rotary vise, I can turn this and do and wrap it, but I'm not going to do that on this video because this is a beginner video and probably most of you will have just a clamp on vise. So what we'll do at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of glue, a little bit of Sally Hansen's. I will roll this up because I want this kind of on the bottom and I'll just put some Sally Hansen's 
on the thread base that I laid down. And what this is going to do, it's going to make the jig super strong and it's going to hold together. And now what we'll do is we'll just start wrapping this against each other. And you can see the body taking shape. You wrap it up to the head, come over with your bobbin, do one back wrap, one more back wrap, then forward. And then I'll cut this piece off. And that is almost done. So now you've got a couple of options. You can use this whip finish tool. And this whip finish tool, a lot of people struggle with it, but all you do is you pull your thread out, set it on in this hook, you hook it there, bring it around, and make an X. Bring it right up to the head of the jig and make five or six wraps. And then just pull it and unhook it. Another way to do it before I finish this is I will just do a half hitch. If you don't have a, if you don't have a whip finish tool, you can just take the thread, make a loop, come over the top and hold it with your fingers and pull it in there. And this is common. I've done this out on my boat when I'm tying jigs right while I'm fishing. And then I'll pull that good and tight. So now that, that jig is basically done with the exception of I am going to glue the head. I think everything needs to be glued. Um, the jigs last longer. I take this head cement and I'll take my bodkin. And this is just a little pokey tool. You can use it for clearing eyes. I dip it in the head cement. I digress. I'll back up. I'm going to cut this thread off because you don't need it no more because the jig is tied. And now I'll glue it. So I'll just take and dip this bodkin in there and you'll see it'll get a couple of good drops of glue on it. And then I just go along around the head and that'll sink down into the thread. You can use super glue or any other kind of glue. The problem is it'll get clumpy. Head cement doesn't do that. Um, it, it works good. It soaks right into the material nice. And there you have a basic crappie jig, 16th ounce crappie jig, and it just will catch you just a ton of fish. Um, and they're fun to tie. Muddy river, place I'll always remember. Cabin on the lake and a fishing pole. Forever here, I'll rest my soul. I can feel my world.